learning. Got to get some learning. Got to find out who am I? What am I doing here? Who am I? I'm Peter Griffiths, and this is my third year at Otago. It's good to be coming back here. I know the place well by now, and I'm starting a new job. I'll be a sub-warden in my college. The money's useful, and you could say I'm putting back some of the help the senior students gave me when I started here. I'm still a bit nervous about the idea, though not as nervous as I was in my first year. I'm Mandy Ellis, and I'm going to take an arts course at Otago. Mum would come down to see me settle in at the hall. I told them there'd be hundreds of other students in the same boat, but it didn't make any difference. You'd think I was leaving home and ran fairly forever. I just hope they don't make a thing of saying goodbye in front of everyone. Can you see the clock tower? Isn't it beautiful? How lovely old buildings. I'm Diana Carson. I'm a second year commerce student. But this is the bit I really hate. Though it isn't all that far from Invercargill. At least I've got a flat to go to this year. And with any luck, the others will have something ready for tea tonight. Oh, really well. Look, are you waiting for Bill? Yeah. You couldn't give me a lift, could you? Oh, sure. That'd be excellent. Hi! Hi! I'm Graham Mandano, third year science student. We decided to drive down all the way this time. Never again. That dozy lot slept most of the way and left me with the driving. There's the old science building and microbiology. In the end, it wasn't so bad. There were lots of students arriving when we did, and Mum didn't put on a big scene. I met the warden, and we got over the formalities pretty quickly. Have most of the girls arrived yet? No, they haven't arrived yet. They'll be mostly late. They gave me a separate room. It was warm and comfortable. It turned out I vaguely knew one of the girls further down our corridor. She's at Polytechnic now, and she showed me round the place and introduced me to some of her friends. The real shock came when I found myself with other students signing up for courses for the first time. The campus seemed so big, I was sure I wouldn't be able to find my way around. Way to the arts building. Can you tell me how to get there? Uh, yes, if you um, travel about 25 minutes. There was so much on, too, besides all the form filling. They have what they call an orientation week to help you meet other people with free shows and information and that kind of thing. You could just wander around and meet people or look over the student union or the library. There are lots of clubs and societies at Varsity, and one day an orientation week 
They all advertise for members. I've been with the Tramping Club for two years, so I wasn't shopping around. But you'll find a club for almost every interest. And the clubs and societies have a terrific new building with rooms for all sorts of activities. Try your hand at bread baking. Fancy canoe building? Or what about a sauna? First meet the academic staff when they sign your course form. They advise you about what courses to take and then check out your progress. I was told they're very willing to help, but you've got to let them know when you need it. I see, Mandy, you've got an A bursary last year. Oh, that's good. So that would mean you've got no trouble about doing four subjects in the first year, four full units. Now, what have you thought that you might like to do in your degree in the end? I'm really a bit unsure at the moment, but. I think I'd like to do some teaching eventually, or something to do with travelling. So I'd really sort of like to get a broad base to start on. That's fine. I think the important thing in the first year is to make sure that you're choosing subjects which you might wish to go on into the third mm. year to take right through your degree. I think it's important to keep your options open. I see that uh, all the subjects you've got here listed uh, could be taken right through to the third year. That's sensible. Well, actually, I'm wondering about changing history to drama because I'm very interested in theatre, and I thought it would. Tie I was in feeling well with nervous English. when I went into my advisor's yes, studies, and when he talked about prerequisites, I didn't have a clue what he meant. Because there's a prerequisite for drama, you have to have passed uh, three units of the BA degree. Then so he explained, and we worked out a program that we both thought I could manage. And they like to have uh, relatively senior students in it, but you could. Do some amateur drama this year with the students if you wish. There'll be plenty of things to do, and then if you're still interested in drama, take the unit next year. It's not just a matter of getting settled in at university. For me, and a lot of other students too, this is the first time in Dunedin itself. It's not the biggest city in the world, but I think that's one of the nice things about it. <laughs> 